The strategy that I'm about to share with you is absolutely the easiest way to convert real viewers into active subscribers on your gaming channel. And it'll take less than three minutes to implement. So let's get stuck into this. G'day, my name's Marcus. I've worked on multiple successful channels, but I understand that getting views and subscribers is bloody goddamn hard. I know that because when I first started on YouTube, I sucked. But nowadays, I suck a little bit less, so I started GYGC to share some of my YouTube experiences, tactics, and strategies with people like you. In this video, we're going to talk about a cool tactic that can pretty easily improve your conversion rate, aka the amount of people who see your video compared to the amount of people you actually subscribe, aka help you get more subscribers, in about three minutes or less. But first, let me explain why this strategy works. Let's go right back to the fundamentals of psychology. Not that psychology has many fundamentals. But anyway, the moment someone subscribes to your channel, we can all agree that they were thinking about subscribing. In other words, in order for someone to actually subscribe to your channel, they must be thinking either consciously or unconsciously about subscribing. In that moment, something prompted them, whether it was their own thought or something in the video, to actually click that subscribe button. In other words, they're not brain dead robots who just do things on autopilot. Now, although this might seem obvious when we talk about it in this way, not enough gaming YouTubers take advantage of this. Because think about it, you have the power to make your viewers think stuff they weren't already thinking. Getting someone to think about subscribing is a direct correlation with them actually subscribing. So in our videos, as the creators, we can prompt people to think about subscribing, which in turn makes them much more likely to actually subscribe. Now the technical term for prompting or encouraging an action, like subscribing, is called a CTA, a call to action. Now CTAs are used in marketing in pretty much every industry and area. But on YouTube, the most common form of CTA, call to action, is a call to subscribe. In other words, prompting the viewers either consciously or unconsciously to subscribe. And to cut a long story short, strategically adding CTAs to your gaming videos increases the amount of subscribers you will gain. It'll probably take you three minutes or less to actually come up with your own CTA. So in in this video, I'm going to teach you firstly what exactly a CTA is and the two main types of CTAs on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to properly craft CTAs for your videos. Then I'll show you where to position your CTAs in your videos so you get more subscribers but don't seem like one of those needy and insecure human beings because as we all know, having insecurities is not normal, it's unnatural and it's off-putting. So to begin with, we know basically what CTAs are, but let's dive into some more specifics and learn what the actual heck they are. There are two main types of CTAs. The first is a verbal CTA which is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it's where the creator verbally asks you or encourages you to subscribe to their channel. For example, I post videos that will help you grow your gaming channel quickly, so I highly recommend you subscribe because I've got some awesome content coming out very soon that you don't want to miss. That right there was a verbal CTA. It's a bit different to the CTA you might need to implement on your gaming channel, so what I'm going to do is I'll break down the exact principles and give you then some actionable tips that you can use to create your very own personalized CTA so you can get more subscribers. The first principle of creating a highly subscribable CTA is to actually ask people to subscribe within it. Be direct, don't beat around the bush, you don't have a lot of time, and there should be no confusion about what it is that you're referring to. Regardless of the specific words you use, make sure your CTA encourages your viewers to subscribe in a direct and clear fashion. Don't shy away from the fact. For example, in the CTA I provided you with earlier, please hit the button below, or be sure to follow me, or any of that crap. I specifically stated that I recommended people to subscribe. There was no room for confusion. And your CTA should be equally as clear. Secondly, remember your CTA is not your life story. Here's an example of a CTA that will make everybody want to kill you. Thanks for watching my video, I really appreciate it. Now I'm trying to hit 16 subscribers, so please smash that subscribe button because it's my goal, I've been dreaming of it ever since I was a little kid, and we're getting really, really close. And when we hit 16 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away. I said, no way, I couldn't believe it, but she gave me the pregnancy test and I saw it for myself, and that's when my heart broke, like really, I. I couldn't believe somebody punch in please. Basically, you don't want the CTA to cause people to click off your video and boredom is one of the biggest reasons people leave your video. So keep it short, keep it concise. In my opinion, your actual call to action itself should be less than eight seconds. Now, full disclosure, I'm 100% sure that this number will vary from niche to niche. 
but in my opinion, it's a pretty good benchmark and any longer than that and people will generally start clicking off your video in my experience. But what you can do in the analytics of your videos is have a look at the section of video where you position your CTA and actually see visually whether people are clicking off during your CTA. If they're not, obviously great work. If they are, you might need to either change what it is you say in your CTA or shorten it. Next, during your CTA, and this is super important, you should give people a reason to subscribe. Here's how not to do that. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video because I'm a generic creator who says just exactly what everyone else says because everybody else is a lot of people and they must be onto something. In that example, Mr. Creative told you to subscribe but he didn't tell you why you should consider subscribing. And so he missed a crucial point. See, people don't subscribe just for the sake of it. People subscribe because they get some kind of value from subscribing. Basically, they subscribe because they don't want to miss any future videos. And subscribing is the best way to make sure they don't miss any of that content. They're not subscribing because they want to boost your ego or just because they like clicking red buttons on the internet. So for example, in my demo CTA, which by the way, I know I keep referring to that demo CTA I did earlier. That CTA is not perfect. Don't carbon copy it. It's just an example I came up with. You should come up with your own CTA. But anyway, in that example CTA, I told people to subscribe so they wouldn't miss my super cool new videos I was about to post. But regardless, on the GYGC channel, I'm relatively sure that the main reason people subscribe is that they want to see my future videos on YouTube topics. And so I made it clear and named that benefit in my CTA. So make sure you figure out your own why. Figure out why it is that someone would want to subscribe to your channel and then call it out. Add the why to your CTA. Now, my last tip for verbal CTAs is to show a visual CTA at the same moment to reinforce the message. Basically, when you're presenting your verbal CTA, display the visual CTA at the same time. That way you've got both audio and visual people covered. But speaking of visual CTAs, we should probably talk a little bit more about them as I don't think I've given them any airtime yet. So the second type of CTA is a visual CTA. It comes in the form of a graphic, screen recording, pop-up, animation that visually encourages people to subscribe, either by the text plastered on it or literally some kind of animation or screen recording of a previous subscriber clicking the subscribe button and bell notification. Now, visual CTAs are cool. They're not as powerful as verbal CTAs, but they're more subtle, so you can use them in different ways. You can show them on screen along with your verbal CTA, which I recommend, but you can also show them separately during points in your video to subtly keep subscribing top of mind to remind people of that action to put that thought in their head speaking of placing CTAs throughout your video though let's talk about where to actually position your CTAs now there are no hard and fast rules there are niches with different tolerances to being asked to subscribe so what you can do sometimes is look at the larger creators in your niche see how often they're asking their viewers to subscribe and how it makes you feel or you can use the following strategy that I would use if I really wanted to get subscribers as quickly as possible up on screen now you can see a graphic of a video structure so this is a pretty common video structure on YouTube. We start off with what is the hook, so the kind of introduction to the topic, the thing that intrigues people and actually keeps them watching. Then we have an introduction to the video and the creator. We then have the actual content itself, and then we follow with the outro. Now this is probably one of the better performing video structures I've seen, and probably the most common one, and we'll get into it in another video. But let's look at specifically where you'd position your CTAs. Firstly, you would position a verbal CTA and a visual CTA after the intro, but before the actual content. That way you've already hooked people, you've already told people who you are, but you're kind of setting the expectation and putting the thought in their mind. It's also great for returning visitors who might have just finished watching one of your videos. They click on your new video, they see your CTA and I think, eh, why not? I should probably subscribe. I would then position a second verbal and visual CTA during the outro. So generally speaking, most people thank their viewers for watching and the CTA would come after that. So it'd be like, well, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, blah, 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 blah. There goes your CTA. Finally, I would position one more CTA but just a visual CTA, not verbal, just a lower third, somewhere around about the halfway point of the video, just after a section of the video that provides the viewer with a ton of value. So what I mean by this is look at the type of content you're creating and figure out what the most valuable moments are. So for example, if you're creating funny moments videos, which moments in your video are the funniest? If you're creating news videos, what tidbits are the juiciest? Which bombshells will shock people and impress them? If you're creating tutorial videos, which sections of the video are the real breakthrough sections? that will amaze or impress your viewers. Regardless, don't just split your video in half and then position your CTA smack bang in the middle. Try and find a moment that might stand out that you're relatively certain fills your viewers with positive feelings towards you and your content and then position your visual CTA just after that bit. Basically, it's gonna catch people at a point where they're hopefully really enjoying your content and will be the most open to subscribing while also not being too close to the CTA in the intro or the CTA in the outro and making people feel spammed. Picture this. 
This guy. Or girl, you sexist prick. It's absolutely legendary. You know, I feel like I want to subscribe to this guy for some reason. I, I don't know why. I, I definitely came up with the idea all on my own and was not subconsciously influenced by that little banner that just popped up, which strangely I don't even remember seeing now that I think of it. So in summary, if you're following this strategy, you'll end up with a video that contains three relatively spread out CTAs, two verbal and visual, and one just visual. However, as mentioned, please feel free to customize any of this or figure out your own strategy. This is very much just a template for those of you who are just getting started, have no idea about any of this stuff, so you can kind of copy and paste. Because as mentioned, every niche and video type is different. So I hope this video helped you out. But before we wrap up, I want to quickly address all the little trolls down below who are literally about to comment. But Marcus, you personally don't use CTAs in your videos. I call bull. That's true, I personally don't use CTAs in my videos, but that's just because I personally don't like them. To me, CTAs are like those little bits of food that get stuck in your teeth and you don't even notice them until someone points them out and then you try and flick them out with like a toothpick or something because they're all disgusting and gross, but then they won't come out and it's freaking annoying. But I know for a fact that CTAs do help channels get more subscribers. So I recommend you ignore my pet peeve, do as I say, not as I do, and your subscriber count will thank you for it. Anyway, I've got to go blow up my inflatable dartboard, but on screen there is a playlist filled with more of my must watch videos that are essential to getting subscribers as a gaming channel. I highly recommend you watch them and I'll see you in one of those videos.